Last week, I made a video designing new Euro 2024 kits, but then I remembered Copper America is happening this year too. So I thought it was a good idea to design my own shirt for every single team in every group. I've made a kit for 18 teams because four teams are still in the playoffs. I'm going to be going through these kits group by group, starting with Group A. The first team in Group A is Argentina. For my Argentina shirt, I wanted to keep the traditional style while also doing something a little bit different. It's got thin black lines either side of the blue stripe, and there's an exciting design in the stripes themselves. I also decided to make the stripes fade as they went down towards the bottom, and I think this makes the shirt more interesting. Overall, I've kept the traditional style, but I've done something exciting. Next up is Peru. Now, in case you didn't know, on every Peru kit, there's a diagonal red stripe going from the bottom left to the top right. That's no different in my version. What makes mine interesting is what's going on outside of the red stripe. There's this red and gold fade on the outside of the stripe, which I thought looked good. I also really like how the badge has got that black outline, so it really stands out in the red. Next up is Chile, and I've based mine off of a retro shirt from 1995. I really like how the zigzags on the collar and the cuffs work on the white and how the badge is in a circle so i carried over those themes into my shirt which also has zigzags on the collar and the cuffs and the badge in a circle it even has a zigzaggy pattern in the red which i think makes it look even better than the kit that it's based on anyway the final team in this group will be decided by the playoffs and one team going into those playoffs is canada for their shirt i used this fuzzy red stripe at first i didn't really like this design so i did make another one but that one's a bit crazy as you can see so i ended up sticking with my original choice of Kit. Let me know in the comments which of my Canada kits is better. The other team in the playoffs is Trinidad and Tobago, so I made them this kit. For this, I focused on using the colours of the flag to make a shirt that could represent the country. If they qualify for the Copper America, that will be a very big achievement for their national team. So I thought I'd really try and represent the country as much as possible with a simple and yet exciting kit. I've added a nice design within the red and black and white lines on either side to represent the colours of the flag. But I think the kit that I've designed for Mexico is even better. Mexico normally go for something very creative. My one is maybe a bit ridiculous, and it probably wouldn't work on any other team. But for Mexico, this is exactly what they would normally do. Light and dark green works so well with this crazy design, and I think it looks fantastic. That's probably because I made it, but... Let's just move on to Ecuador. Ecuador have got a very interesting shirt from me. It features a yellow, blue, and red zigzag design at the top of the shirt. I think this is a very good representation of Ecuador's main colours. Moving on to Venezuela. For this shirt, I've gone for a dark red like they normally would have, but with yellow as the secondary colour. The most exciting part of this shirt is the background, which features the Angel Fools, a famous landmark in Venezuela. I've then added the Venezuelan stars from the flag onto the top of the water. And for my final team in Group B, Jamaica, I've added an interesting zigzag design to the top. Obviously, I've used the colours yellow, black and green for the Jamaica kit and I think it looks quite good. The next shirt is the USA and this is one of my personal favourites. I've represented the stars and stripes with a chaotic blue and red mix and all of that stuff is going on on the white base that you'd normally see on the USA kit. American shirts can be so boring so I decided to just go completely ridiculous and design this. Americans, please let me know in the comments if you like this or not. Next up is a more simple design from Uruguay. For this one, I tried to find a way to fit the flag onto a traditional light blue Uruguay kit. So I put the stripes in the sun at the top and faded them into the blue. I then also decided to use centralized logos to sort of split the stripes in the sun. And I think it looks quite good. The next team is Panama. I've kept it simple for this one with a simple white and blue line at the top and a red base. I think this one is well designed. I didn't want to go too over the top on every single shirt. So this is one of the ones I kept more simple. The same goes for Bolivia. Here I used a nice diagonal design within the green and the colours of the flag on the collar and cuffs. I think this one looks nice, but again, it is very simple. Next up is Brazil, and I've designed a shirt similar to the one they had in 2006. But in my version, I've added this zigzag effect to the cuffs to make it look like the crocodiles of the Amazon rainforest. Brazil's most recent kits were actually based around the leopards, so I thought I'd continue that animal theme into this year's one. Next up is Colombia. The main focus for this one is the colours. The red, blue and yellow have been used very well here, right? There's also a nice little South American design going on at the bottom. Overall, I think this one represents Colombia quite nicely. The next team is Paraguay. For this one, I've again kept it simple with red and white stripes and an interesting pattern going on in the red. I think this one does a good job as a Paraguay shirt because it does well at making those red and white stripes Okay, for the next kit, which is Costa Rica, I kind of got a bit bored and just 
Good whatever this is. I feel like this one is a little bit too crazy, so I decided to make another one, and I think this one looks much better. This one's got some white and blue lines around the place, and the logo's in white. Let me know if it's better than my other one or not. The next team is Honduras, and for me, it was important to use the right colours. The blue that I've chosen here, I think works really well. But the main part of this kit is actually the temple design that's going on at the bottom. Some people might not like it, but Honduras is very famous for its ancient temples, so I thought I'd just slap it on the kit. If you imagine it with blue shorts, I think it would look good. But maybe the temple just doesn't really work on a shirt, so I decided to also make this one. I personally like how I've connected the collar and the blue on the sleeves with the three stripes. And I added the faded white at the end of the sleeve just to make it more interesting. Anyway, that's all the teams that have a chance of being in Copper America, but I decided to also make a Guatemala kit for no reason, so here it is. It's light blue with a white stripe down the middle, just like the flag. And now that we've looked through all my kits, it is time to end. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below which one's the best kit, which one's the worst kit. I might have had a few stinkers towards the end. I'll probably release another video in the next couple days, taking a look at Southampton's victory over Birmingham City. But while you're waiting, you can click one of the videos on screen right now to watch some more. And with that all being said, I will see you later.